Cooper Murchie here. If it's really hot where you are today, or if you just really like it cool, you probably will like today's story. Willis Carrier was born on November 26, 1876 in Angola, New York. He studied at Cornell University starting in 1897 and graduated with a master's in engineering. In Buffalo, New York in 1902, in response to an air quality problem, Willis Carrier submitted drawings for what became recognized as the world's first modern air conditioning system. The 1902 installation marked the birth of air conditioning because of the addition of humidity control, which led to the recognition by authorities in the field that air conditioning must perform four basic functions. Control temperature, control humidity, control air circulation and ventilation, and cleanse the air. In 1906, Carrier was granted a U.S. patent for the Apparatus for Treating Air, the world's first spray-type air conditioning equipment. It was designed to humidify or dehumidify air. In 1906, Carrier discovered that constant dew point depression provided almost constant relative humidity, which later became known among air conditioning engineers as the Law of Constant Dew Point Depression. On this discovery, he based the design of an automatic control system for which he was issued a patent in 1914. In December of 1911, Carrier presented what is perhaps the most significant document ever prepared on air conditioning. This document tied together the concepts of relative humidity, absolute humidity, and dew point temperature. In 1930, Carrier Engineering Corporation merged with two other companies to form Carrier Corporation, with Willis Carrier named chairman of the board. Carrier moved his company to Syracuse, New York in 1937. The company began became one of the largest employers in central New York. It would eventually employ over 50,000 employees and earn billions of dollars. Carrier's igloo in the 1939 New York World's Fair gave visitors a glimpse into the future of air conditioning. During the post-war economic boom of the 1950s, air conditioning became, <coughs> began its tremendous growth in popularity. Today, air conditioning is a staple in many American homes. Carrier was married three times and all of his wives had pre predeceased him. He had only one son. He died on October 7, 1950 in New York City. Next time you turn on the AC in your car, your home, or, or enjoy being cool in a restaurant or a public place, give a little shout out to Willis Carrier. And you like my blue tie? Ice, ice, baby! Cooper Marcher here. Ciao.